Never begin. Let it begin. I'm wiping red wine on you. Ew, stop. No, I mean, no, I mean, no. Help. No, It's not the high holidays, but we're going to be talking about angels in America. That's right. Don't blink. Just kidding. It's not Doctor Who. It's a play. Angels in America was written by Tony Kushner, who has written over 30 plays, and many of which have won prestigious awards. This play first premiered in 1991, but it opened on Broadway in 1993. It's recently been revived and directed by Marianne Elliott, who originally hated theater as a child, but hates a powerful word, y'all. See where that got her? This story centers around the couple Pryor and Lewis after Pryor is diagnosed with AIDS. Lewis is struggling to cope with the thought that his lover might end up dying and turns to the comfort of other men, including Joe. So Joe is struggling to cope himself with his drug addicted wife, Harper. Meanwhile, Roy Cohn is in the midst of all of this and he is a homophobic homosexual lawyer diagnosed with AIDS. The self-hate is on a totally different level there. The show has a lot of fantastical elements which are done beautifully in the Broadway revival. It includes visions of Harper ending up in Antarctica, fever dreams where Pryor ends up meeting Harper, and then an angel bursting through the ceiling in the end. A homeless woman is also seen and she is considered insane, and this kind of brings about a different idea of insanity and visions in this world. So all of the visions in the production seem to show a different plane of reality or a different thing underneath the surface of reality that kind of shows something that's been bottled back by all of the characters who are in these visions and scenes. Uh, but in the end, Insanity kind of ends up being a cover story for all of this to make it more realistic for the audience. Now, Angels in America is one of my personal favorite pieces to begin with, and seeing the Broadway bootleg of it only strengthened that. So it does an amazing job of adding humor and relatable characters into the world while addressing important issues such as homophobia, racism, classism, commitment issues, fear of death, and even crisis of faith. And it's all done in a roundabout way that makes you really sit down and think about how all of these things are affecting people in their everyday lives. So I only wish I could have actually seen the show on Broadway and seen all of the amazing acting choices up front and live and all of the incredible effects that were shown on stage. Because seriously, if you have the chance to go see this show, go see it. So now it's time for this little American angel to sign off. But really, go get your hands on that show in some way, shape, or form. Good night. I have a worm crawling on my living room floor. I'm living in my own sitcom.